Hello, my name is Neil and today we are checking a new mod called SidMapper. Have you ever wondered how to actually get to a structure or find something in-game? Well, this mod is actually for you. It can allow you to locate structure, feature, loot and much more. So I suggest we check it out. First thing we need to do is of course download it. So you go on this URL which will be linked in the description then you download the latest release currently it's in beta but soon it will be in normal release so you download it then you need the fabric API so you just go on curseforge and download the latest one so 1.7 .1. and then you actually need to install FabricMC if you don't have it yet so you go on FabricMC.net then use then you download the exe and you install it as you will normally do and you install the latest version of the loader install it in your Minecraft uh, folder and that's it now you need to install the mod, so the mod is really easy, you just go in .minecraft on Windows, on .minecraft in your home folder on Linux and Minecraft folder in, in Mac, on Mac, and then you go on mods, if you don't have a mod folder you create one, then you pass in the Fabric API and the SidMapper mod that you downloaded. You launch M Minecraft, so that should take a few seconds. Then you launch Fabric Loader 1.17.1. If you don't have it, then you might need to scroll down. I suggest that you actually do a slight modification. So go in Configuration. Here on Fabric Loader, you go on the three dots. Then you go on Modify or Edit. Then you go here on More Option. And here you change XMX2. So it should be 2G to 8 or or something which is greater than 2 if possible of course this is your amount of RAM then you click play and you wait for Minecraft to load shouldn't take too long okay in the meantime we can check the command so we have a seed overlay to uh, to see if some block doesn't match a version you can uh, know the version of the game uh, you can locate biome, features, or loot. You can highlight some blocks, so that's useful to find uh, some specific block like a diamond and so on, but without using X ray actually. And you can, uh, well, GP, but that's only for creative. Uh, this is done thanks to the seed, so the seed usually get it from Seedcracker X or Seedcracker Normal. And then when you have the seed, actually, you know everything about the world, so you can actually do it. This is done by generating the full world uh, inside the mod, so this is done through uh, the Captain Wutax library, so it's quite efficient because uh, yeah, we made it so, and so on. So I'm choosing random seed, so just for fun, let's take this one. Why not? It's a bit childish, but why now? And we create a new world, it should take a few seconds. Uh, Minecraft a bit slow. And we load it. So, as you can see, we are in a brand new world. So first thing you need to do is check if the mod is, cor is correctly loaded. So you should have a sitmapper dot and something. Then you go in config, then set the seed. So here we set it to our current seed. This one, we can check if it's actually ours here. Yeah, uh, you of course need to crack it, but yeah, that's suppose you already did it. Then you can, uh, for example, uh, so check the, the version of the terrain. So if you are not sure in which uh, version of the terrain you are in, you can just uh, check it. So currently we are in 1.17.1, so each of the command will be run against 1.17.1. But we support from 1.13 to 1.17. So if you have a terrain which is not in the current version, but in some older version, then the mod will work, actually. Uh, then you can, uh, so for example, highlight some block. So that's actually cr pretty great. For example, um, I want to find, I don't know, wild diamond. Yeah, diamond is uh, one. So I can highlight them for a lot of version, but I will only use 1.17. So because I don't specify it, it will, will use the current one. 
but um, if I if I don't, then well, I need to actually specify to use her. So as you can see, we can see all the diamonds, and if I give myself some night vision, so here, as you can see, I get, got myself some night vision. Let's go down. So let's go in. In yeah, that's a bit better. And as you can see, here we have tough, and we have the diamonds. Yeah, quite easy and basically it's X-ray but without actually X-raying because we are fully generating the world so we don't actually cheat, we are just knowing the seed and basically opening a new world but inside the, this world and we are not dependent on the version so that's actually way more efficient and yeah so as you can see we get the so on and we can do so for a lot of stuff so we can highlight uh, for example, a block, um, well, emerald, there is no here, but uh, if we want to write all the dirt, we can do so. It's a bit much, but we can see all the dirt around us. Maybe the gravel is a bit more useful because, yeah, you never know when they actually go on you. And yeah, there is some arguments, so you can specify the version, and then you can specify, for example, the distance in chunk to render this stuff, so yeah, it's quite useful. But I don't think you are here for that. You're actually here for another command, which is actually seed mapper and then locate. So with locate, you can locate a biome. So for example, uh, cold ocean. Don't know, it's not really useful, but why not? Uh, so as you can see, there is one uh, quite near here. So if I go here, so TP here, it's a uh, cold ocean here. Ah. Yeah, I have a cold ocean. So yeah, it's useful to find some biome, but uh, I don't think most people will use it because uh, yeah, it's not really. But uh, what you actually will use it is to locate, for example, a structure. So you can locate a slime chunk, which is useful because yeah, then you can know which chunk is not is a slime chunk and which chunk is not. But you might want to actually locate a, a structure uh, structure which is near you, so, well, Bastion is not in the correct dimension, but Buried Treasure, for example, you can go at it, so it's quite near here, so here, and when you just go down, here, so you dig, 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 and you find it. And you can do so for a lot of stuff, so we can do that for, I think, the most useful is Mansion, of course. So here we go this one TP and as you can see we have a wonderful mansion. Yeah. So you can find biome, you can find structure, but most important you can actually find loot. And this is I think the game changer because with finding loot you can actually well find anything you want. So loot. You can, uh, well, you have the list of all the items, but I think the most interesting one for most people is maybe Uncharted Golden Apple. And you can just locate it, and as you can see, it gives you a location. So let's go here. Oh, it's a, it's a desert temple, so that's quite convenient. And as you can see, we get Uncharted Golden Apple here. Maybe we have a second one. And we are not lucky. If there was only one but yeah and we can find any um, of course this command will be extended to a lot of stuff so yeah for now it's in beta but it yeah it will get a lot better in the near future so yeah I think it's a neat mod you can find a lot of stuff you can overlay and so on so uh, it's quite useful for example to see if it's correct um, version of terrain so for example if I if I overlay uh, to 1.11, uh, as you can see, we can clearly see that it doesn't match that much. Uh, there's a, a few uh, mismatch and so on, and that's because it's not the correct version, of course. Because in 1.11, there was no uh, desert pyramid here, and there was not some ore and so on. So, yeah, 
I think it's a quite neat one. Uh, for example, I think this one, if you go here, yeah, as you can see, uh, yeah, the, the ruin portal was not in, in 1.11, that's for sure. And as you can see, it's totally outlined. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, so if you want to check it out, I will link uh, the GitHub as well as the uh, download link. And yeah, it's made by Apple, which is uh, well, a guy. Yeah, I talked a bit uh, with him, and yeah, he made it with uh, all library. So yeah, quite neat. So thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, if you have time, check it out or. Yeah, maybe watch it if it comes to release and so on. Thanks.